What is up everybody, it's your boy Cameron Bash here and welcome back to the Movement Channel. Today, we're coming at you all with another WWE 2K22 video, where in this one, we're going to be covering how you can make awesome arenas in this game with ease. Arenas are one of the most important parts of any wrestling match as this is the thing that plays host to the match itself. A good arena can really add a lot to any particular match as the environment plays a big part in the atmosphere that is going to be set. Hammerstein Ballroom, the old school Madison Square Garden setup and most WrestleManias are fantastic examples of where the arena adds a lot of feeling and emotion to the matches that are being performed in them and today we want to share some tips and tricks with you so that you can create exciting arenas just like these in a very straightforward and easy to understand manner. Before we jump into that though, allow me to tell you about the sponsor of this video, The Ridge. Unlike the big and bulky wallets that you're probably used to, the Ridge wallet has a sleek and compact design that'll fit anywhere you need it to. That combined with room for up to 12 cards and cash, and RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pickpockets, makes it the perfect wallet for everyday life. We love how convenient it is to pull out the Ridge and easily access exactly what you need in a moment's notice. And with a large variety of styles and materials to choose from, including aluminum tiki, forged carbon fiber, and our personal favorite, forged ember, there's definitely going to be a wallet there to match your vibe. The Ridge also makes a perfect gift for family and friends, so whether you're wanting to pick one up for them or yourself, there's never been a better time than now. As for a limited time, you can use our code MOVEMENT or click the link at the top of the description for 15% off your order. But you'll need to act fast, as that offer only lasts until March 18th before our code reverts down to just 10% off. So again, head over to ridge.com forward slash movement, use code MOVEMENT and join the modern world with the best wallet that you can find. So, before you begin making your arena, you need to have a couple of things. The first thing you'll need is your brief. Why are you making this arena? What is this arena for? Nine times out of ten, people are making arenas for their shows. Whether you're recreating a real life arena, or creating your very own unique arena from scratch, most arenas are attached to some sort of bigger wrestling brand. For the sake of this video, the brand we'll be creating the arena for will be FAM, Forever A Movement, and the show we'll be creating for FAM is going to be an original pay-per-view idea called Inferno. Now that we know the brief for this project, before diving in and messing around too much with any logo making or stage building, we now need to come up with our concepts and ideas. What is this arena going to look like? What theme are people going to see when they feast their eyes on your arena? Seeing as my show is called Inferno, I feel it would be best to go with some sort of fire theme, with lots of reds, oranges and yellows as my main colour theme. At this stage, it's best to familiarise yourself with all the in-game movies that the Create an Arena mode has to offer. While you won't care too much for ones that boldly display a logo that has nothing to do with your concept, some of the more general ones can make great background details for the screens that you don't cover in your own custom logos. After looking through the movies within Create an Arena, I found two in particular that match the general theme of fire that I'd be going for, those being the It Hits Different video and the Through the Flames video. I'm not too sure which one I'd like to go with at this point in time, but now that I have an idea in my mind as to what these movies look like in the game, I can use them to help influence the logos that I'll be creating later. Before we begin making the logos however, this is where I would recommend you start building the stage for your arena. You'll first need to select the venue that your arena is going to be located in. There are more options than ever before in WWE 2K22 for this, with a grand total of 10. So I'd recommend switching these up whenever you make a different arena, show or pay-per-view so that each of your shows has a unique feeling to them. I'm going to go with one of the most original looking ones in the game, the theatre, modelled after the Hammerstein ballroom that we shouted out earlier. Now that your venue size has been selected, you can freely edit your stage without having to worry about certain parts disappearing, which is what could happen if you change your venue size after selecting the stage parts. To put your stage together, go to stage, then stage construction. Here, the first thing I'd recommend doing is to delete all of the parts that are currently set on the arena, leaving you with a blank canvas. The only thing that won't be deleted at this stage is the stage and ramp, which is fine, because this is the first thing that you're going to want to select. To keep it nice and straightforward for you, the easiest way I've found to build an arena in a way that doesn't overwhelm me is to first start with the stage and ramp, then do your Minitron as that's the first thing that'll be on top of your stage, follow that up with the main Titantron on top of your Minitron, then select the walls that you're going to use, as these will mostly sit in the background behind the main and Minitron that you've already selected, and finally, select your header, as you can then easily position this in line with how high or low the rest of the stage is. When it comes to stage props, this is the only thing that I would consider extra and something that you don't always need. If you're going to make a more traditional wrestling show, then most of the time, I don't use too many stage props. However, if the theme I had decided on was something more specific, such as a horror theme or a medieval theme, 
then I'd be a lot more inclined to use some of these stage props to help bring that idea to life in a much grander way. When selecting your trons, walls and header, try to visualise what entrances are going to look like on this stage. Entrances are the primary time in which your stage is going to be seen, so you need to have those in mind when designing it. For that reason, I really like to maximise the amount of screens and LED boards that are visible in my stages, as that means you're going to see more of the trons and lighting when it comes to each superstar's entrance, leading to a more dynamic feeling and atmosphere for your show, as we spoke about towards the beginning of this video. Take your time with this process, try a variety of different stage pieces to find different things that work for you and your theme, and when you are happy with your design, it's time to save that and start working on some logos. When it comes to the logos that you're going to use on your arena, you can really go as crazy as you like. But to keep it effective and simple for you guys, we're going to boil it down to just 5 logos, which if used correctly, can make the rest of your arena look world class. The 5 logos you're going to need are as follows. A 512x512 image of your brand's logo. This is mainly going to be used for your turnbuckle pads. A 1024x256 image of your show's logo. This is going to be used for things like the announce table and electronic billboard. A 1024x256 image of your first ring apron. This is going to be used for two of the four ring aprons. A 1024x256 image of your second ring apron. This is going to be used for the other two of the four ring aprons. And finally, a 1024x256 background image. This will be used for things like the announce table. You can create these logos in a variety of different ways using a variety of different programs. Personally, I use a program called Photoshop, which is a program that you traditionally need to pay for. There are also free alternatives to this out there, such as a program called GIMP, which does a lot of the same things Photoshop does, just in a less streamlined way. Now without making this a full-blown Photoshop tutorial, let me just share a few basic tips with you for creating these logos. When it comes to the brand's logo and your show's logo, you'll benefit from using a website called defont.com. This website has thousands of different fonts that you can download and install onto your computer, and they are great for making any logos that involve text. As you can see here, by just downloading two different fonts from the website and adding various Photoshop effects to them, I've made two fairly effective logos in the space of about 10 minutes. I'd recommend spending more time on your logos to make sure they're as high quality as possible, but this just gives you an example of the type of thing you're able to whip up in a short amount of time. As for your ring aprons and background image, I recommend sourcing one main image that you'll use to help you with both of these things. To find my image, I typed in 4K fire wallpaper into Google and got this detailed fire image as a result. I like the range of shades of red, orange and yellow that is spread across the image, as well as the small detail of smoke and sparks that are coming through, and seeing as this image matches really well with the in-game movie that I have selected for my arena, it makes it the perfect fit for what I'm going for. Using this image, I'll do two different things with it. The first thing I'll do is make a 1024x256 version of the image. This will be used as both the background image logo that you're going to need, as well as the backdrop for the first set of aprons. The second thing that I'll do with this image is edit it in such a way within a 1024x256 setting to create a nice bit of side flare for the other apron that we're going to use. Once you've created the side flare, which should only take up a maximum of 10% of your image on each side, you'll want to fill that middle space up with something. If you're looking to keep this simple, you can easily add your brand's logo to this as the other apron is going to feature your show logo. However, I like to use this space to advertise the platforms that are associated with the show. You can do this in whatever way you like, but I personally choose to put a maximum of three links in this space in nice big writing so it's easy for a viewer to see at a moment's glance. As for your other apron, to make this one, I simply take the 1024x256 background image that we made previously and put the main show logo in the middle of it. Again, there's way more you can do here to make the apron look even better, but for the sake of keeping it simple and effective once again, this is a great place to start. Once you've got all five of these logos created, upload them to the image uploader, download them onto your game, and head back into create an arena. I like to start with the ring here, as that's the part that takes up the most time to complete. You'll want to begin by placing your apron logos onto the corresponding locations. The apron that has the links on it should face the ramp and the announce table, and the apron with the logo should face the hard cam and the crowd. Apply the logo so that there is a small gap above the logo to create a border between the apron design and the ring mat. Do this for both sides of the ring apron. If you're using an LED board, which we are in this case, apply the main apron logo to this as well. Unfortunately, 2K22 removed the ability to place logos on top of in-game videos, so we won't be able to benefit from that anymore. Once these have been added, adjust the colours of the surrounding arena pieces so they match your theme. In this instance, I wanted to make the steel stairs a more charcoal type of colour, as well as make the ring ropes follow a fire theme. When you're happy with the colours, make sure to add on your turnbuckle brand logo, and there you go. Your wrestling ring should now be complete. 
Now, my arena doesn't actually come with an announce table or electronic billboard due to the venue I have selected. But just to show you how I do those real quick, for tables, I'll apply my background logo to fill out the entire space and then separately add in my show logo to fill out the middle space. It's better to do this as two separate logos rather than one, as you're going to need to stretch out the background image further than the show logo in order to properly fill out the space at the top of the announce table. As for the electronic billboard, for this, I typically use a pattern instead of a normal background image, as the background of the billboard copies itself over and over again, and the copies blend into each other a lot better as a pattern rather than a logo. If you don't see a pattern here to match your theme, the plain colour of black typically works really well, but seeing as there is a fire pattern here, this works very well for my theme, so it's the one I'll use. Top that off with your show's logo, and you have yourself a nice little billboard to display during your matches. The final thing I like to do to my arena is to add my show logo to the main titantron. Again, in previous games, you could put your logo on top of an in-game video here, which would have been ideal. However, since we don't have the ability to do that, we'll just use our background image once again, with the show logo on top of it, to display on the Titan Tron. And with that, our arena is complete, as well as this tutorial on how to make an awesome arena with ease. We sincerely hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out in some sort of way. If you guys would be interested in seeing a more advanced tutorial that explains how you take an awesome arena to a stupendous arena, be sure to let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more WWE 2K22 content. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you soon for another one.